It is time for our ETF Spotlight. Dom Chu is taking a closer look at Bed Bath & Beyond. Not a great day for that stock, Dom. No, absolutely not. As, as you guys have been discussing right now, the, the disappointing results from the profit side of things, the revenue side of things, the cut to their forecast, all causing that huge plunge in the shares. Right now, down about 25% on much heavier than average volume. Perhaps no surprise there. But that 25% plunge is having reverberations in the ETF market. There are a lot of ETFs that have exposure to Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, none of them really have it on a massive basis unless they're really focused on certain small parts of the small cap consumer discretionary space. However, take a look at some of these larger, relatively larger ETFs in terms of overall assets under management. The iShares S&P small cap 600 ETF is just about, you know, flat on the day, but it's got some small exposure to Bed Bath & Beyond. Also ones that track the Russell 2000, like the Russell iShares Russell 2000 ticker IWM uh, moving just slightly to the upside today. And then some of the factor ETFs that use maybe some things like revenue or, or profits or, or, or momentum, those types of things have some exposure as well. The Invesco S&P small cap 600 revenue ETF is off of about one third of one percent. And then take out check out some of the other ones as well. Perhaps may having some more exposure. Some of those things have perhaps some tilts like the Vanguard consumer ETF, the ticker VCR there. This is geared more towards consumer stocks across the entire market cap spectrum. They may have some incremental exposure there as well. So Carl, gang, keep an eye on some of these ETFs. Yes, Bed Bath & Beyond maybe only fractional percentage you know, allocations here, but they do have impacts on the ETF market, guys. I'll send things back over to you.